Let's find uh, Darren now in our weather center. You were saying that some people may have felt it, right? Yes, and I want to show you what that looks like on a map, Juliet, because the USGS, the United States Geological Survey, keeps track of reports, and you can go online and say whether or not you felt it or not. And if you take a look at the map, you're going to see a red star over on the east border of California with Nevada. That was the epicenter for that 5.1 that happened around 7.30 this morning. But everywhere else on the map that's got some color on it is where someone reported to the USGS that they felt it. And if we look at the Bay Area, there's not a lot here. But I thought you'd be interested to see there are some locations here saying that it was felt. And the USGS does monitor these. These are not necessarily bogus reports. And they're showing up at the very bottom end of the scale, meaning it was just barely felt. But kind of interesting to see what happened this morning right here in the Bay Area. We could feel that one mildly. Here's the main headline in the weather story today. That's the view from the top of the coast range. This is Mount Vaca, up around 2,500 feet, kind of right on the border with the Central Valley and the Bay Area. That's how far inland the low gray clouds have gotten today. They've been really persistent, and it's been one of those days where they've just hung around. This is live from the top of the Salesforce Tower, looking out over towards the East Bay, and you can't see it because there's plenty of clouds. Meanwhile, in the South Bay, we're doing okay. We've broken free of the clouds, but not everybody has done that. And one of the great tools to track and see how we're doing is to look at this from the high-resolution satellite. Temperatures are just fine right now, by the way. We are pretty much a little below average, but only by about a couple of degrees. If you look at how we looked from space today on the satellite, here's all the bright white clouds socking in the Bay Area. This is a classic pattern once we start to get into May. Keep your eye here. There's a little curly cue in the clouds, and over the last few hours, that has continued to spin its way down the coast, just kind of helping to give a little bit of energy to the marine layer and keeping it around so long. That's why we got stuck with this stuff for so long, thanks to that little coastal eddy right there. Tomorrow we're doing this again, but it shouldn't be as long-lasting as today was. So yes, you've got to plan for some gray skies for Easter Sunday. But if we watch it on the future cast, even though it's going to get pretty darn gray again, this gets us tomorrow morning. And we're pretty much just as socked in. Watch what happens once we get past this. You're going to see a little bit more of an offshore flow, a little bit drier air, and we're going to clear the clouds out faster tomorrow. Easter Sunday in the morning is still gray. But by the afternoon, you will get more breaks of blue sky, so it'll look a little prettier than today did. As far as temperatures go, we're going right down to around 50 for the morning low today. That's pretty typical. Now, these numbers are different. For some locations on here, like these low to mid-70s inland, Concord, that's 75 tomorrow. That's going to be about 10 degrees warmer than today was, thanks to that offshore that we just saw and more sunshine coming your way and less of an influence of that more determined marine layer. Everybody warms up a bit. These are all, if you're right in the bay, these numbers are right about 5 degrees warmer than we were yesterday. So that starts a trend, because even though tomorrow's warmer and Monday is pretty much right in line with that, look what happens on Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we're really going to start warming things up. Daytime highs will climb to near 80 for inland locations and will be in the low to mid-70s for much of the bay. There is no rain in this seven-day forecast, although things look at least kind of interesting for next weekend. We'll keep an eye on Saturday and Sunday for a small chance. It'd be nice to get a little more rain if we could. We could still use it, but it just doesn't look all that impressive just yet. See you with more on this coming up in the next half hour, guys. Back over to you.